Hi guys, this is your host Ralz. Welcome back to the Inside Jungler channel. In today's episode, I want to share with you one of the biggest nuisance I have with indoor plants, mealybugs and how I get rid of them. And I have mealybugs especially on citrus seedlings and on photos plants. Also, before showing you the ugly bugs and the homemade recipe I have for getting rid of them, I also have here another problematic citrus seedling. Now, you see, this is my very own doing. We had quite a few weeks of rainy weather this summer, with temperatures a bit below average for this time of the year. And then it came the hot weather, very hot days out of the sudden. Now, although I check my calamondine seedlings almost daily, for some reason I miss this one. And this citrus seedling is very delicate, like all of them. They are very delicate, they are like babies. And even if today they look fine, by tomorrow evening they might look like this if they are thirsty. And you will not know what hit them at first. And then the second problem that affects the health of my citrus seedlings, mealybugs. They literally piss me off. They attach them th themselves to the plant, usually at the plant's joints, in crevices, curled areas they can find, or on new growth. You see, mealybugs are soft insects covered in white cotton-like material. And the problem is this cotton-like material. They might look fluffy, but they're definitely not cute. This material protects them from moisture loss, from heat, and even from insecticides. So it's a bit hard to get rid of them. My favorite method in getting rid of them is destroying them one by one, like literally, with a cotton bud dipped in sanitary, or you might know it as rubbing alcohol. Because I have quite a few seedlings on my hand, I can't always apply this method. So I have created a homemade spray and it does a trick, at least for a while. Then I need to check the plants again, manually destroy the big visible bugs and apply the spray again to destroy the male bugs and the eggs. The male mealy bugs are also white and you can easily identify them. They have wings and look like, um, shall I say, an extremely miniaturized paper plane, like you know, the one that we all used to build when we were kids destroying our notebooks. The reason why I'm really, like, really annoyed with them is that they can cause big problems to my plants, from yellowing and wilting to a speedy overall plant decline. So, what I'm gonna do right now, I have here neem oil, rubbing alcohol, and a drop of dishwasher liquid. Neem oil is an organic insecticide. It's gonna help you in the garden a lot, indoor or outside garden. Basically, if ingested by these mealybugs, it's gonna mess with their nervous system, inhibit their growth, and eventually they are gonna die. Yay! No, I'm not a cruel person, I'm just cruel with these mealybugs. And let's not forget about an all-purpose assistant I have here in my tiny indoor garden. A toilet... <laughs> I'm laughing, but yes, I have it here on hand all the time. A toilet tissue roll or whatever it's le left of it. Don't laugh too hard, okay? Toilet paper is a very inexpensive tool you can have around the house and around the garden. Now. These are my tools and what I have done, I have wiped all of uh, the leaves of these citrus, uh, citrus seedlings, calamondin to be exact, and I wiped them gently with the toilet paper uh, because I had to get rid of all those big mealybugs you have seen previously. Now also what I do, I will do right now, I have to cut this plant in order to give it a chance. Uh, the, the upper part of the plant is uh, very very thin and it seems it's dried out almost completely so unfortunately I will have to cut it so I'm trying to fill the area that has still some life in it and here it goes 
also with the upper part uh, I got rid of uh, that crevice uh, of the of the stem and I got rid of the mealybugs in that crevice maybe they had a lot of babies over there so it would have been almost impossible to get to all of the eggs I'm trying to feel yes I have to cut it a little bit more and from here downwards it should be okay um, it's a um, one year one year and a half old seedlings a seedling and I really don't want to lose it it used to be beautiful look at the color of the leaves you could see that uh, they have a very dark green color oh what's here is that a bug no it's not a bug okay it's not a bug I got scared I don't want to cut another leaf Although it has some other deficiency on the plant, um, I still want to save it. Here you can see another seedling with a few problems on it. Now it has a few types of deficiencies. You can see here a pale green upper leaf with dark green veins. You can search on Google, you will see uh, what kind of deficiency this is. And you can see over here, I hope I can... I can stabilize the image. Um, I'm not sure if those are some eggs on the leaves. Anyway, this leaf is gonna go down. Um, and this is another type of deficiency. And honestly, I'll be very, very, very honest with you. I don't know what to do with this plant. I have a few seedlings with multiple types of deficiencies because they are a different color of greens. They have the sclerosis installed on their leaves and I'm feeding them the same thing. Same, um, how you call it? The same citrus fertilizer you can buy already pre-made. And I really don't know what else to do with them. Some of my seedlings are very very healthy. They get the same amount of water, the same type of water and the same type of liquid fertilizer. Again, I buy it already pre-made, especially for citrus. Or this is what the manufacturer is telling me. Except of cutting those leaves, I don't know what else to do with the plant. I'll, I'll be very honest with you. Now, what you see over here is a seedling that is very, very, very dear to me. And you have seen this in uh, at least two of my previous videos. Why? Because it's one of my very first attempts of a bonsai of guiding the stem of the plant, the trunk of the plant into a different shape and I made it this way. It has three main branches and it would look beautiful if not for this discoloration of the leaves. And you can see I have different shape of green on it. The happy news for today is that the cocktail I have showed you, the spray I'm using against mealybugs, it truly truly works, it doesn't affect the plants and I have used it successfully in the past. Now the nuisance is that these mealy bugs come, will come back but the good good point is that we have a method of getting rid of them with that spray over there. I truly hope you have learned something from me today and would love to hear from you in the comments below. Please don't forget to click the subscribe, like and bell button. Not only you won't miss any plant update, but you will help me spread the word to other plant lovers out there. Thanks again for watching and see you next week, hopefully with a very good news. Thank you, bye bye.